Hello and welcome to our latest Gemini Rogues video. As you can see, this is a mercenary tank and it's a big top. Go on, kill us so far. Right, I'll go straight into what it is, what it's made up of, what components it is. So we'll start at the very top. It's a Pershing turret, the M26 turret. That sounds good. Yeah, and it's got the M90 gun on it. I don't know about that. The 90 mm busy gun M3 off the El Cat. And the jacks. Uh, okay. It's got an engine out of a stock Panther, the Maybach 210 TRMP30 engine, and the rest of it is a Ripper, the old M4A2E4 tank, the premium tier five. I Sherman. don't know if it's any good or not. No. <laughs> so that's that's basically what it's made up of. It's very American, just with a German engine, pretty much. Okay, is it good at making silver? No, we'll oh, come okay. to that in a bit. So okay. we're going to go straight into its attributes. There we go. There's that Maybach engine, 650 brake horsepower. So top speed of 50 kilometers an hour so it's not bad gun 90 millimeter 160 pen on that your standard shell. gun's yeah. quite good 243 pen on your apcr round 45 on your he and it's got 320 damage of that as well gives you 7.3 turn rounds a minute which is about eight second reload 2.3 second aim time which ain't great and 0.3 actually not great 35 on traverse kind of aim time man Turret armor is one thing you've got to work with. It's a little bit your advantage. You've got under and two front leap. That's not a lot, <laughs> especially it? when you're seeing tier nines, but you can use it. And just as it flashed off there, we've got 700 meter signal range as well. Okay. It comes with two perks on its crew already. The old Lost Renegade crew. It comes with a dead eye perk and the armor perk there. It tells you what to do. I'm not going to read it all out for you. No. I've gone straight to training at six cents. And for me, it sounds very much like Raybot. Raboro One. Yeah, it sounds very much like her voice. It does actually, doesn't it? Is. Try and get that rumor confirmed. Or yeah, I reckon it is. We'll see what happens. So, yep, you're going to need to put some of the old gold ammunition into <laughs> it. And um, we're just going to chuck in general medipipe, fire extinguisher, and repair kit. We're not going to go too mad putting. Have you played things. this? At this point, no. This is going to be the first game oh, where it's got game. no XP on it or anything like this. Is going to be the first game I play. Uh, okay. It. So it will be top tier. So best we're going to get really. I'm going to okay. look into it. But same again as we've already seen in the other video we've done the slapjack the camos are either really funky or just yeah. ridiculous and again i've seen this before with slapjack when you try and load up the screen to it looks like put it on it's stuck, ages it? for the mercenary that's funky Ooh, that's one of the best I camos like i think i've seen that game i don't know why yeah it's, I like that. That one. these get a bit mm, yeah, okay. either nothing boring or incredibly hilarious stuff on. Mm, yeah not generally essential it gives you a little bit of a camo perk but Nothing Big much. top's not really something you're going to wide anyway in sniping, so even though it's got an LCAT gun, generally the concealment's not great. I think it's 0 0.14, which is not brilliant. Not a stealth machine by any means. <laughs> the uh, okay. equipment, get that uh, reload time down a little bit quicker. Put some optics on it. What like about a lay drive? You need a lay um, drive, man. 2.3 seconds reload. When you look I'm at how reload, cheap the vents beaming. are, 150,000 for vents, it's know, quite a cheap option. Aim get, time, that, shocking. That will man. get your aim time down as well as well as your reload. So I'd go with the vent. It's, it's there though. And um, we'll, we'll go through things now. The engine rear mounted as always. 18.23 power to weight ratio. So it's not bad. Uh, you don't struggle nippy. on hills. The gun, LCAT gun, the old M3 gun. Most people will, well, they will have played this because you've got to use that tank to, or above the equivalent, to get this tank. So most uh, people have already used this gun. Have you played tank. every tank this is made from? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome, man. And there you go, there's that turret. That's your main thing. I mean, 390 meter view range as well. You yeah, get with that Pershing cool. turret, which is fantastic yeah. for a tier 7 medium. You're talking 410 on a pattern at tier 9. So 390 at tier 7 is pretty good. Can you use that and support snipe? No, we're going to see why. Uh, why? Going in the video. There's where his crew sit. Not that it's there's Rabor. Not yeah. like Rabor. <laughs> Sounds like Sergeant. <laughs> Armour. The short of that little bit around the gun it's panel. Oh, look at the lower you plate's the quite lower chunky. Plate, it's still not stopping much. No. We're going to look at that now. There's your lowest point around the top. You can see that it's quite vulnerable to the old <laughs> artillery yeah, shots as well. Yeah, you are going to get it as well. Yeah, it's going to be big time. Other than that, I mean, nothing's... You're talking, you've seen tier 9 tanks in this yeah. thing. Nothing's going to struggle as pen. You're not going to have to look for a weak spot on you, and you're not going to be able to get all down and use that. You know when, advantage. like, you're in a tier 9 game, do you go, oh, gravy, or do you go, oh, shit, tier 9? Ah, shit, tier 9. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of them times. If I'm in my Comet, I think, oh, more gravy. If yeah. I'm in my Panther, even then, with penetration on yeah. the gun, I think, oh, okay. more hit points. Like about. When I'm in this, I think, shit. No, <laughs> tier 9, damn um, 
That's when it comes down to the old hit points. I mean, the Panther's got a lot of hit points for a tier seven medium, 1,275 off top of my head, I think. Yeah. Whereas this has got, I think it's 1,150. So it's about 125 down already on the Panther. So wow. not bad though. It's quite a lot of hit points for a medium tank. How about you need them? Yeah. Uh, so uh, we're going to go into action now and we're going to see are you saying this sees tier 9 and it's not got many hit points what's the gun penetration is it good for tier 9 well it's the Hellcat gun yeah. which is tier 6 tank destroyers tank destroyers generally don't have bad guns so 160 is not bad it's better than you get from your slapjack the other mercenary at tier 7 which is 145 with yeah. standard shot and then the slapjack only gets 195 which premium ammunition whereas this gets 243 it's also got the added advantage of more mobility than the slapjack, so you've got the chance to get shots in from yeah. the side. So firepower-wise, it's probably better than the slapjack. Just hasn't got the Is it fire like rate. Playing a Hellcat. No, if no. I want to liken <laughs> the big tops play style Very to decisive. anything, I'd say the Revel Elise. Okay, Revel Elise. Like, yeah, it's just like playing the Revel Elise. You're the tier eight premium. Does tank. It, if anyone's um, got that, this plays very similar. Does it troll you then? This? Yeah, the gun. So again, the gun. I mean, we're going to see it. 0.38 dispersion. This thing with 2.3 second aim time takes a while to aim it. You got like to get close up then and yeah, personal. You're not, like you're not in. driving around snapping shots off, um, just popping out, nipping out, taking a shot and pulling back. We're going to see that as we go through this video. But We're you on. don't like Revelisa. You always swear no, when you I play it. I hate the Revelisa. <laughs> we, we have passion. But, and I don't particularly get on with the big top. I don't know if it's just my style of play, it doesn't suit, I don't know. But So has this got any is. bonuses? Like silver bonus or no this is a my trainer. general argument well we'll come to that in a minute but we're going to look at this and we're going to talk more about what it does and what it can do and what it can't do on gameplay okay. then i'll come to what mercenary tanks are about as we get into the video okay so tier 7 match for top tier obviously it's his first game we've got in it at this point i don't know what to expect from the gun the tank or anything first well, hellcat gun you did well you know what i mean as in all put together you've played ripper yeah and you play what Ripper. was it? Persian. Persian, you, sorry. You played yeah. them all, so you know what to expect. Yeah. I thought I would slap Jack and it completely surprised me, so <laughs> I weren't pinning me out okay. on knowing what this was going to be like. Uh, straight away, you can see there's an 18.23 power to weight ratio. Hill's not too much of a problem. So straight away, you know you've got a little bit of mobility to work with and play with. Not vast amounts, don't get me wrong, we're not crumbling around like a lunatic. Okay. But we are a big target and we have not got a lot of armor, so I'll take that straight into consideration. So I'm being quite aggressive, I think, to start with. Goes a pill as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. 50 kilometer top speed as well. So it's not bad. Yeah, let's move. There we go. Look how that blooms out. You only have to move a little bit. I'm going to see this gun now. Let's have a look what this gun can do. Like I said, 160 pound, we're doing 240 damage. Yeah. Eight second reload, roughly. I think we've got. Oh, he's spotted. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. no. Yeah. We've gone straight in. One for one, trading shots with a craft pamphlet. It's lucky he's going to do 130 damage, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's decided. And then oh, look yeah, at this no. guy here. Check this guy out. This is just beautiful. <laughs> I reckon one of his teammates is shooting him and he's turned around to that a lot. So we're just going to try and track him there. If reloads that long, he's going to probably be dead a bit time. We've got he's a second shot. In. No, he's not. So we finish him off. There's his first easy kill. Someone's handed it literally yeah, on a plate. 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 And back to crap. Look at that aim time. Still yeah, coming in, still coming in. And that went nowhere near where we were aiming, even if we, he had not gone right back at that I've got a theory with that, because we reckon it's before as the uh, crew. I've seen the play on Twitch. <laughs> we may have some of the Careful. traits. Shed <laughs> <laughs> it on dangerous ground. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, when we take a oh, shot, we we'll start to get rinsed from this point. Oh, he has that aim time. Oh, you did it. Yeah, E25, you can see it, E25 is firing his standard shells, he's not struggling oh, to pen as easy, he's going to get back quick. Finally managed to bounce one. What is it? E25. Well, you know where he is, he's getting late. Yeah, and look at that, leave that shot so far, we still nearly missed him. Uh, you, it was that's the it. problem with the big top. Play style what? wise, it's the same as the Revelise. I've got no armour, so I can't go up there brawling. Yeah. And I haven't got the gun accuracy or no, shell velocity uh, to sit back and snipe. When you play that, yeah. So I can't hold back. So you yeah. have literally got to play this medium, like constantly. I mean, we've got lucky there. It's a chance. It snapped it. I've nice seen one. before without it, that would not go in. That was quite lucky in yeah. the way it's gone in. All it's got is your usual American traits of your tank. It's mostly an American tank, as I've already said, with the yeah. German engine. Gun depression, all down. Nip out, take a shot, pop back down, best you can. Not always easy, especially with this gun. 
There you go. Decent nice driver. soft target. Oh, he bounced, bounced the frame, frame around. around there. That extreme angle I was reviving around yeah. that thing. As you can see, it's, it's not bad at going backwards and forwards. Yep. So oh, here we go. Here you are. Ram by ram, plan from the own team. He wants some action. A bit wary at artillery, like I said, it's prone to artillery, a lot to the armour there. Oh, Fury there, oh, oh, trying to train a shot. Okay. Took one into it. Like, you can see that the, the damage it does is not bad, 240. Yeah. But is not great when you see tier 9 tanks, as you're going to see later on. It pots holes in things, but not bad. There you go. He... Blocked a shot from me on artillery. Oh, there. sweet. Looking on PC. Yeah. <laughs> Gone, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally would have killed me, easy. So, Oh, at this what? point, I'm going to try and use. I've got my yeah, optic no on it. I've yeah. got 390 meter view range. Uh, I'm going to try and a little bit dare in here, put myself in a bit of vulnerable position on this ridge line, try and light some things yeah. up in the team. Plus or more, if you have binos, yeah. yeah. I don't fancy sitting still in this tank that yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, I don't <laughs> realise that. <laughs> it's not really something you can sit there and trade shots or anything. I mean, I'm lucky, quite lucky that's a yeah, too. And they absolutely see them from space size wise, so I don't really got to fuck that aim and shoot, so I'm just, I can get away with it. And even then, look yeah. at that, it doesn't always go in. Probably tracks, man. So, what, what's, where's the E25? Is it behind he's that? He's over to the far side. I think he's round about. Where well, he just pinged it? Yeah, round that way. And he's just ripping through T-Bay and they're oh, not really doing anything about it to be honest with you. He's gonna... Uh, um, I could do with getting this guy out of the way. But look at that aim time, other distance. This is what I'm talking about when you can't snipe him. Wow, it took some time to get yeah. there as well, didn't it? And you sat there as well, all that time, in this like egg box, this weak tank. Yeah. Aiming and, in, yeah, 2.3 seconds. Yeah. You, get, you can get rinsed sitting there, 2.3 yeah. seconds. Yeah, it's not ideal. Togs managed to get them back to cover now. We've, we've literally one shot for nearly everything other than that E25 basically at this point. And team's pushing it, Cal, why are they pushing? They're never going to spot this guy, they're just going to get wiped out and it's just not going to work out basically. No, I need to go behind him. Why don't well, you like... I'll talk about other things about Tank Well, we've got this meander about. 70 rounds, not an issue. We're Too many, gonna, don't need them. Yeah, when, if you fired so many rounds off in a game, you're either shooting at wall or floor yeah. or sky, or you've had an absolute <laughs> stormer. Either, or, so yeah, it does a lot. not generally going to get through it. It's a 35 ton tank, so it's not bad. You can bully like your lighter tanks and your lighter mediums with well, ramming. Talk, yeah, you're talking ramming capabilities. 35 tons, not light. Pretty good traverse wise. 35 on the actual old traverse, which is pretty good, and 36 on the turret. Back so well. Yeah, which is even better. So maneuverability is one of its mm. best traits, basically. It's yeah. just fast enough to circle, jerk, an heavy tank, depending on just. your turret traverse. Just. You yeah. can get around the ammo because, and yeah. the Tiger and stuff like that because they've got yeah. really slow old turret. traverse and turret traverses. Yeah. So that is an option with this thing. You're just about quick enough and just about agile enough to get round. Well, that's not really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've got okay. pretty quick torch version. Right? Oh, there it has. Uh, I'll read through all armor while well, we're at 65 mil frontally. We saw it already. 38 yeah. on sides and rear, so we're not blocking much. We've already said it's angled quite well, but yeah. even then, 65 mil is not a lot. Yeah, really. it's not going to block much. We know. That. 102, like I said, on your front of your Pershing turret is the best thing you've got to work with. Yeah. So use your gun depression, get all down best you can. Yeah, and even so then, 102 is not... Five and six you might have to do something. Yeah, um, but seven, eight, nine. No. You've got to go straight through that turret quite easy. Either. Yeah, they've got to go through quite easy. It's even got 76 on side, and you can see it's quite a weird shape. It's quite high up as well. Yeah. But, I mean, we're screwed here, basically. I've got this light tank here. I can spot him. It's that low and small. I don't fancy my chances from this range in yeah. with this gun. Already, I've played just this one match. I've already lost confidence in the accuracy of this gun. To it, time, aim time yeah. would depress So I'm thinking everyone's come across here when we're getting wiped out. Even artillery's coming this way, I think. Yeah, uh, off, someone's going to come up round back as it, and I don't quite make it round yeah. the corner in time to cover his back. I'm thinking, where are you? Where are you going to be coming from here? And where's best to go? We've been spotted already. Coming up from that right hand side. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, he's spotted you 25. Yeah, you're, you're not going to get it. He's going to fire two to the time you've aimed in. At least I know where he is now. Artillery he's could not really pair in. No, he's already gone. <laughs> he's already, he's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we'll looking at it there. He's done. There you go. So uh, how would you put this as a first game then? What What um, did you think? Oh, this is going to be I thought it was going to be hard work. I didn't think it was going to be an enjoyable tank. You didn't think no, it was going to be enjoyable? straight away, just from that, I didn't think... 
I mean, look at it. 44,000 silver mate. It's That's not bad. Not bad what you're talking tech tree silver mate. There's no bonuses, but we'll come to that in a minute. You would have made 25. 14 shots, nearly 3,000 damage. Yeah. We did a fair bit in that game, but we yeah. just couldn't finish it You didn't off. do too bad actually for first game. You don't know what's happening, so. So this is the second game we've got, Ron Mines. Mines, go on. Is this uh, game better? I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Can't be any worse. What tier is it? I think this is a tier eight match, so we're going to rely more on his premium ammunition in this one than we would have in the last one. So let's see what silver we'll make in this one. Yeah. How much it What's costs. your velocity like in your premium rounds? That's one thing I would say. Uh, the thing sometimes you're going to find you're firing your premium ammunition. Yeah. Just for this, straight as a die. Ooh. Way more shell velocity. Yeah. On your premium ammunition. That increases your accuracy. Yeah. You can see here. There's another example. It was still loading it here. I can't even take to aim it. Yeah, wow, yeah. like an arrow. Yeah. Gone's that loop the point. AP shell. Yeah. So, and then it comes back to it the old mercenary problem. What is a mercenary tank? It's a mishmash of stuff. What's it for? And to earn and to play, have lots of fun. Yeah, but is it? You're not going to get anything from it. No yeah. silver, no, no crew training. These tanks do not have XP boosts. These no tanks boosts. don't have no silver bonuses. Boosts. No. They don't have uh, crew training boosts. Yeah. They just make normal XP, which you can't open up anything off with. Yeah. They generally don't work, work towards the ops, say you've got to get so many kills in a German tank, so many or so, but they don't work in them. Are you just saying it's like a useless entity? Yeah. It's like quite an, going nowhere. Like an amoeba. Just yeah, I, I, I don't know how they're going to change this war game. <laughs> I mean, this tank, for me, the big top, is just full on balanced. You know, when. It's you... so balanced. It's Lockdown. mediocre, and the yeah. fact that it's not OP, but it's not crap. This is a shot and a half, that. Wow. You can't get Where one between all and turret. <laughs> <laughs> the mess, I just don't know yet. We haven't have toiled away for two weeks to earn this tank, yeah. and then Ooh, here you go. what am I going to do with it? Um, I, thought, I, thought, I just thought something. Did you get a garage slot when you. Yeah, yeah, this? you say 300 gold garage slot. They you actually came they? with the tank. Yeah. Sweet, here yeah. you go, then you've earned the garage slot. Yeah, that's basically it. But I don't know what war game we're going to do to get this. What? To sort this out, uh, to make this. The mercenaries. Playable. It's longevity. Used, yeah, yeah. Isn't it, really? Rather than just open them up and have them sat in your garage. We know that your, your crews are like mercenary crews. Because whenever there's an op on, what you what there's an XP op on or points on, yeah. what do you do? You get out certain tanks because the NXP, or you're wanting to make a yeah. lot of silver to buy something, so you take them out, or yeah. you're wanting to train a crew for a certain tank, you take them out. So when there's an op on, will you take out a mercenary tank? Um, and no, because it don't do anything. Does yeah. it? Just they're not bad in that regard. They're pretty well balanced. I mean. I think they're fantastic at what they do in a way that the slapjack makes you play like an heavy tank. You can't play it any other way. It's like a stereotypical heavy tank. You use your, your armour yeah. and you, you do what best you can I'm with I'm not got. disputing that the fault. Oh, and you can have good games. Tiger 2 head removal. Beautiful. This is what it is. It's, it is. This makes you play in a medium tank style. You can't go bruising in like an heavy tank. You're not fast enough to go scouting or anything like that, yeah. even though you have got the view range, it teaches you to, and we're going to look at that with the Stubbs, the Stubbs is a full on scout tank, it's a scout machine, There's no, it yeah. doesn't do anything else, you're not sniping with that thing, you're not picking shots off of that thing, it is a full on, full on scout, scout machine, and this is very similar in that it's a, it's a perfectly played as a, a proper medium tank, a support tank. Yeah, it's, it's geared up in every way to do that job. Spot yeah. what it can, get shots in when it can, and manoeuvre around when it needs to. It's pretty good at it. You know, if this had like an XP boost, as in bonus, would you take? Would you think, oh, there's an op on and yeah. XP? Would yeah. you take this I out would, thinking? But, I mean, all I've seen so far is they had the thing the other week where you is it 30 points and you got. Um, I, I can't remember. Two times XP boost, yeah, or yeah. 10,000 silver or something stupid yeah. like that. It weren't great, but out for freeze all right and you got double points if you used a mercenary tank that's the ah, only thing i've seen so far where the okay. mercenary tanks were Came in advantageous yeah and useful yeah. to play but how many times can you do that um no no it's difficult isn't it i prefer like a bonus on it to be fair even if each one had a different i mean bonus. even now you know like we've got the off one at the minute double points for that yeah double points towards the german dream machine oh off. yeah yeah i mean it's got a german engine so <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Technically, in that way, oh, we took a big shot there. You can see again, what we'll talk about to the tank here. 
driving and shooting is not an option in a big top. If you get shot by a big top driving across an open field, yeah. you're unlucky. <laughs> or he's very lucky, one or yeah, two, yeah, or yeah. both, should I say. I think you're, you're unlucky. It just doesn't hit. It doesn't yeah. hit. You've got to sit there, and with no armour sitting there for that amount of time, Yeah, it's just a death sentence. So, yeah. you get lucky there again. There you go. <laughs> you are quite lucky snapping them off, actually. Yeah, he's not bad at all. Would you say you're better off not aiming in? Sometimes, I mean, this is going to be a perfect example coming up here now. We've got this last kill. Can we get this T-43? We saw him earlier at Matthew driving him through water and we took his engine out and he's sat here and oh, okay, so so he's you've spotted us now. Disabled him. Um, look at that aim tab. Look at the bloom. It's oh, like artillery. It. It's like T-49 with dirt gun on bloom. Finish him there off. There you go, he smashed it. So we've not had a too bad a game here. We mixed it a little bit, but we've tried yeah. to stay on the fringes of the battle. We're just dipping his toe in water basically yeah. whatever we can and trying to so, get out oh of it again. Goodness, look at that silver. Up, we've lost nine thousand silver. This isn't even a tier nine match. I mean we didn't technically need to use half of that yeah. premium ammunition. Spamming. But man. I just giving you an example basically. Yeah. First class Confederate medal, you're gonna get a lot of them in it because it reloaded and what you're shooting at. Yeah. But not too bad. I mean it helps that with that ammo rack on Tiger 2 uh, racked yeah. on most right there. That one. But that. if I'm gonna sump big tap yeah, up, sum it up. If I was grinding towards one of these, I'd have to pick one of the mercenary tanks, I'd choose a slapjack all day. Okay. More fun, more rewarding, easier to play, see the exact same tier tanks. Ah, uh, okay. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. If I'll pick you one, because they're the exact same grind, it's the same hoops you've got to jump through to get them, points wise, XP wise, okay. kills wise, so out of the two, if I wanted one of the tier sevens, I'd definitely go for the slapjack over a big top. There's okay. plus points for me, manoeuvrability. It's got some. Yeah. That's, it, 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 just, I'm going to say it's just Joe Average. It does nothing brilliant, but it, it doesn't do anything bad. If I gave you two tanks to play, right, out of a Revelisse and this, which one would you choose? Watch it for Revelisse, because I'm at Mark Silver. Silver man. I I would as well. I mean, as the similar you've done. No, no, I would. Yeah, but that's what it boils down to. Why yeah, do you play true. tanks? There's a reason you don't just take that tank out because oh, I like playing this, I'll take it out. Yeah, no, true. You want some from it, don't it, you? If you're not grinding that tank out, normally you're, you're using it for training crews or like yeah. say, XP or silver boost. Yeah. So. So we're saying we want boosts, please. Bonuses, we, want we need boosts. We need a reason to play the mercenary tanks. It's, yeah, brilliant. You can earn them. You ain't got to pay for them. But once you've got them, it's we need a reason there. to play it. Yeah, we've got a reason to get rid of them. Garrison. We still need robots to come back to us and confirm or deny that she is the oh, the voice. voice of the crew, the lost yeah. renegade crew. Okay, then. yeah. Thanks for that. Um, that's it then. Isn't it? We're not going to ravel anymore no. because we've we've talked about this big top and not. Okay then, thank you very much people for watching, don't forget to subscribe please if you feel like it and stay tuned to the next mercenary tank which I'm not quite sure which one it is yet. I think it's, uh, we're going to go Stubbs. Oh Stubbs is it, okay, yeah. nice one. Anyway, thank you very much, laters.